Next major topic is polymerase chain reaction or PCR. Hopefully you have the basic background of this uh, topic and you may have uh, studied this topic uh, uh, in other subjects uh, that fall within the domain of bioinformatics uh, as it is also the part of syllabus of gene manipulation and genetic engineering so we will also uh, focus on this topic and hopefully you may learn some new points uh, when we will go through this uh, uh, major uh, headings that is polymerase chain reaction uh, or PCR so as far as uh, its definition is concerned uh, it is the technology where we can amplify a few copies or even the single copy of the target DNA to a uh, great order of magnitude so that finally this technology it can generate millions of copies that subsequently can be used for different purposes like for cloning or even for a sequencing purpose so within PCR we will first focus on the basic reaction of the PCR uh, as far as its basic reaction is concerned so is me jo basic requirement hai ke hamare paas target dna hona chahiye jisko hum uh, template dna kehte hain uh, iske ilawa we also need uh, a primer which is a short oligonucleotide aur ye wo point hai jahan se dna ki jo synthesis hai chahe in vivo ho ya in vitro ho uh, wo uh, is point se synthesize hota hai और इसके अलावा हमें डी एन ए पोलिमरेज रिक्वायर्ड होते हैं दैट कैन सेंथिसाइज द कॉपी ऑफ द टेम्पलेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द बेसिस सो एज सो इन बेसिक रिएक्शन फर्स्ट वी नीड टेम्पलेट दैट सब्जेक्टिंग टू हीट डी नेचुरेशन स्टेप इट इज डी नेचर्ड एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए एंड देन प्राइमर्स दे बाइंड एट थ्री प्राइम एंड्स and then the dna polymerases it can guide the synthesis of complementary strands uh, of the template or the target dna uh, so this is the basic reaction of polymerase chain reaction or the pcr so by using this technique we can produce millions of copy of the target dna and this reaction it can be explained diagrammatically in more detail here we can start with single segment or fragment of the dna that we want to amplify and within this single fragment which is double stranded we have a specific locus that we have targeted for sequencing so the region of target dna to be amplified it is indicated in yellow color and then it is exposed to heat so that uh, double stranded dna is converted into single stranded form and then other requirements like uh, uh, nucleotide bases and primers they are added and temperature it is also managed for this step and after the primer attachment sites here the dna synthesis it is followed so first cycle it resulted in the synthesis of two strands of the dna in the next slide from two dna double stranded fragments they are the substrate for the next reaction or for the second reaction so they, there is also we can repeat step 1 and 2 so double stranded dna is they are converted into single stranded form so four single stranded fragments now they are available for further reaction so again primer they can bind and they can result in the synthesis of four dna fragments and in the last slide when four fragments they are the target in the third step that will result in the production of eight total fragments so agar hum ek fragment se start kare aur after 25 cycle hum observe kare to hamare paas jo dna ki yield hai wo around hoti hai 10 raise to power 6 fold as compared to a first step so huge quantity of dna it can be produced by using pcr no in quantitative terms we can say that if we start from a few fragments and up to 30 cycles 
we can get huge amount of DNA fragments. So there is in, uh, increase in exponential terms that one segment it produced two, two into four and eight and so on. So PCR it cannot only use to amplify the DNA fragment rather it's also find its utility in uh, gene cloning procedure. Masal ke tor pe agar hum jo target DNA hai jisko humne focus kiya hai ki hum isko amplify karenge aur isko hum use karna chahte hain gene cloning purpose ke liye to humare paas aisi techniques bhi hain ki jo primer hain hum aise design kar sakte hain jisme kisi khas restriction enzyme ki usme site introduce hum kar sake like hum equr1 jo restriction enzyme hai iski restriction site hum primer mein introduce kar sakte hain aur during the process of amplification to ye primer jo hai it becomes the part of uh, the amplified dna ab isme kyunki restriction site available hai for uh, specific restriction enzyme like suppose equr1 to isko cut karke suitable cloning vector mein bhi clone kiya ja sakta hai uh, jaisa ki hum isko explain kar sakte hain is slide ki madad se ki hamare paas ek target dna hai and this is the region that we want to amplify after denaturation step we can use the primer that suppose have site for equr1 restriction enzyme isse kya hoga ki dna replicate karega and during the process of dna replication this site a target site it is incorporated into the amplified dna fragment no dna fragment it is amplified with its respective restriction site pose for eco r1 enzyme with the help of this eco r1 enzyme now we can cut this restriction site and clone into a suitable cloning vector that is also fragmented with eco r1 so in this way amplified a uh, fragments they can be used for cloning purpose in addition to this application where we can use amplified dna for cloning purpose you are also well aware from our previous discussion that uh, this uh, technology it can also be used for the screening purposes like the screening of genomic libraries or cdna libraries it can also be used for the diagnosis of different diseases and also uh, in paleo uh, paleontology so uh, it also find its utilization to know the past history where we can analyze the uh, fossil record so uh, with reference to its application we will discuss at the end of this major topic